We're back, and this didn't take four hours. This took about 10 hours to simulate. So just a FYI for you guys. My computer has two processors and 32 gigs, so it's just going to depend on how fast of a system that you have. But we can come over here and see our different views. Let's come up here. Take a look at that from here. There's one thing I want to mention, and that is the fluid particle interactions and also the interactions with the fluid in the hallway here. What I realized from my first simulation, if I just pull that up over here, that this fluid, when it was coming out, I was having an issue right here with how close it was getting to the wall. Basically, it wasn't coming up against the wall fully. So when I started simulating this one, and I was looking at it from a side view, I noticed that this was an issue here. What I did was I went to the main hallway over here and looked at my particle fluid interaction and I changed this collision distance. So this was a much higher number originally and I went ahead and changed that so that we've got something that looks a little closer to the wall. Now there's still some space there but I think that's not going to be really noticeable. So now what we need to do is go ahead and make an initial state out of this. So if we select the square and go to initial state, make sure that this is set to yes. Click make initial state. Come down here. Make sure reset to initial state has a check mark by it like that. And then click reset. So now whenever we reset, we'll be set from this particular state. What else do we need to do to get this simulation working? Let's take a look over here. I need to make sure that the kill volume that is in the front of this door, which is right there, we need to make sure that that's turned off. So I'm going to click that, go to the node, and make that inactive. Otherwise, whenever the doors opened up and the fluid started coming out, it would be destroyed immediately when it hit that. So we'll turn that one off. Let's see. The kill speed. We're going to make this inactive. So we don't need that. Let's see. Drag force I've already turned off. We need to go ahead and turn back on our main hallway, the last hallway, the left and right doors. We'll go back up here to Node, Dynamics, make those passive rigid bodies. Then we need to go select all of the other objects that are in the scene. And we need to turn those back on. So we'll select the beer bottles. Spoon. I think that's everything. Yeah. Looks like it. We need to go to Dynamics. Select Active Rigid Body. And we'll just look at those. We go down to Rigid Body. Make sure that you have Convex Hull selected. And again, we chose 25 as the mass just to get a consistent result all the way through. You can change these around if you like. The last thing I'm going to do is go and view this through the camera. Select the square. I'm going to go ahead and save this project. And I think we're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click Simulate. And in the next movie, we'll be taking a look at what the finished simulation looks like.